Quit pushing me. Don't touch me. I swung. Pushing. These kids are so pushy. It's no wonder that you can get anything done out, out here. I tell you. And they notice how bold they get. You want to talk about my coat? That's my coat. That's my old coat. And tell them who earned all these patches on there for you. It's a little big, but it's broken. It's like butter. Do you know how long it takes to break in a Carhartt? If you do, comment below forever. Yeah. Well, that one's broke in. I guarantee it. Nice That's and my soft. Old one. She wears it out here. It's my so, favorite. It's my favorite piece of clothing I own. It's in like a, a fire. I'd grab it right out. Yeah. It's like a robe them guys wear it that does all of that fancy talking. And then they get up there and a, a, a robe. preacher? They stretch it up here. Not preachers, no. A priest? People, people at the schools. What are you talking about? Now, I don't want to talk about it no more. No, now, let's look. Hold on, I'm not finished. Let's look at my patches. Yeah. Flint lock forever. Yeah, I mean, this was a very cool patch. This is a very cool patch. A man sent this patch to us. Yeah, put it on. And then... The Stormy Cromer Ironwood. And then I got this Filson one. But we don't here. call it Filson. Fulson. Fulson. If you're buying Filson, it's Fulson. And then I got to defend the Appalachia one the right here. The most important one, defend Appalachia. At all costs. If and you ain't going to do, listen, wait, hush up a minute. If you wasn't going to do nothing else in this life, defend Appalachia, right? Because when it's gone, I'm telling you, the whole boat goes right. I read this thing that it was this guy that I knew and he had moved out of West Virginia and he put on a little thing that it was the best kept secret and that's true. It really is. And this shoulder is bare so we're in the market for a cool patch. So if you know of a cool patch, you sell a cool patch or you have something that somebody had that was dead that has a cool patch, let me know. No hippie stuff though. No hippie stuff. Right. Now, what we're talking, let's back to the rifle. Now, y'all know we're making East Tennessee special. Jen and I are up here, and we're crawling along. Herschel House, you know, he's down in the country working on the most, in, most important part of East Tennessee rifle is what? The trigger guard. You can spot them a mile away. If you don't put a nice trigger guard on them, you just, they're just You're a, a rube. You're a rube, okay? But we got no worry about that, because we got the best, the best in the U.S. and maybe world down there tinkering away. But that leaves me in all thumbs up here. And how many how many thimbles have you made, Jen? And your oh, oh, oh the number defades me. I was gonna say fourteen. It's right there. Fourteen. Was... <laughs> None. Zero. Uh, un, uh, uh, fourteen. Una. None. <laughs> una is what? Well, it ain't even Una. It's I Una. Think Sarah it's Una zero. minus one. Una, una minus una one. Minus una minus one. Una. Una. Con one without one, right? Now listen, here are these little thimbles we've made. Now, here, a little special something about these, okay? These are a little bit over two inches long. East Tennessee rifle will have a little bit longer thimble than a Pennsylvania rifle. Now them pimp rifles, them Pennsylvania pimp rifles, they had these little short thimbles like this, but now when you get down to Tennessee, they get start getting them longer. This is about as long a thimble as you can put on a rifle and only put one pin through it. And I don't like double pinning them. That pinning's dangerous, scary business. Looks you, weird. All the time waiting for a pin to bust out the other side. So that it can bust out. This is the one we use. It's a little over two inches, okay? And then we got two of them. And they go up the bottom of the rifle, and then, of course, the ramrod will slide down through them. But the one Jen's getting ready to make, this is the Mac Daddy now. And you see how we do it? We cut a piece out of steel. It's about a 16th inch like a steel. diving board. Yeah, well, it ain't. It's a piece of steel, 16th inch steel, and then we forge the, the, the thing like we want it. Now, see how it's got this tail? This one's got a tail on it. Here, see? Now, I mean, they saw it on my side. Yeah, but you didn't know what you was doing. I you did. You holding it upside down. You was just taking too long talking. So you get it you bent see? around here. Here we go. And then this is the way it goes down the rifle, and this is going to be long and beautiful. If Jen can pull it off, okay? Here, you hold that. So here, stay with us. We're going to get into it now, and we're going to tell you how to do this so you can do it at home. So that way, you can spend two or three hours working on something that you can buy for a dollar. 
I think that can be our mo our new motto. Yeah, that's we'd, it. we'd rather just make it for 20 hours than buy it. Right. So, got to find you some thin metal first, right? Maybe hood of a Studebaker? No, no. Listen, if you're cutting up Studebaker hoods to make mountain rifles, you're hard. You're hard to stop, okay? We, we're not nobody we want to know. We don't want to know you if you're cutting up old cars. We want somebody that's cutting up uh, maybe 1970 model cars because everybody knows they ain't no good, right? 70s and over. Please don't cut any old antiques up to this, okay? Here we go. Get ready. All right, put my metal in. Got a tape line there. You got to line it up just right because apparently if not, then terrible bad things happen to you. And now we're going to tap it gently. Woo! Now lay them on over there. And before somebody sends me some nasty gram about the placement of the my hand on I the I was just going to say what your not finger true. sticking this out thing there is, like a daggone This thing is cup. so old down here. If you hold this sucker, uh, it's going to decay. I tell you. Lord have mercy. So save me the nasty gram. I'll send you a nasty gram. Go ahead and get that thing like you mean it. There you go. There you go. Looks like somebody just did 15. Yeah. Hold Look it up at there. that. Now see, it makes a little table, you see? So these are going to be the ears that go up, and then we're going to put it in a mandrel. We're going to put it out in the forge, get it red hot, and then we're going to bow it up around a mandrel. So hang tight. Here we go, all right? I think my side looks best. I don't think so. I think you beat that thing. I, 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 I feel bad for that thing after you get done with it. Now you can see the little piece right there, and I'm just going to slowly add air, and that dude's going to get red hot. You can see him in there, see, he's nice and red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take him right back over here, put him on the vise, and tap him through with the mandrel, okay? Okay, see her? Nice and hot. Okay, make the magic happen. Hit it now. There you go. Now, if you look here, you see it's starting to get a little bend. See that little U in it? Them wings? We're going to take these little wings don't and touch fold it. them up. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm not going to touch it. He's... He says to me, look better. You look sad and weird. Sad and weird. That's a heck of a combination, isn't it? All right, we're going to put this under the edge here. And then we're going to pry it up a little bit. She just lifted them ears up a little bit. And getting them up off of there. Because in a minute, we're going to put them in a vise. And we're going to squeeze them flat. What are you doing? I'm just standing here. Why? I thought you were like going to do a weird come from behind or something. No, 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 no. That's no, your usual. No, no. All right, now. I want to show you what we've made. Here you hold them. You can uh, stand there and act like you made one. Now, look. Now, this here is the trick. All right? This is the last one. And see, it's got this long tail. Can you see this tail? But the trick is, is the little hump. Now, you don't make that little hump very much. Now on a little bitty rifle that's really keen and sweet, this hump coming from here to here is very tiny. If it makes a big jump, it makes your rifle too clubby coming up the forearm. Right, Jen? And that's one of our things we don't like, do we? We don't do weird. We don't do weird. We don't like clubby forearms. Clubby. We, we don't. We do not. We like our forearms to be like pool cues. There's no Popeye Long forearms. Long and slender. Long and slender. There's no Popeye forearms here on these East Tennessees. For the, to get that forearm thin, this thing, this little jump's got to almost be the same. It just, I'm gonna say it's probably not more than a sixteenth difference. If you can see it good enough to see it's got a little jump in it. So 
And we're not even going to tell you how we did it. Right. Well, we showed you how we did it. We didn't it. show him how we did that. Oh, how that we did the little step. jump. Yeah, we well, didn't show that. Well. Houdini don't reveal his tricks. That's right. We can't tell you. You'll have to imagine how we get that little jump. But it's very scientific. It requires the moon, the planets, the stars, Two Einstein's animals were theory hurt. of relativity. What? Two animals were hurt. Two animals was hurt. Dogs were scared. Kids was frightened. The whole caboodle. All right. Now, here we are, though. We got it. So now, next we gotta do is put these and then them two Jennies hold them. Put them in my hand, darling. Them two right there, we gotta put on there too. Now, inlet knees is another trick. We'll show you how we do that. We heat these dudes up red hot and we let Mother Nature do part of the work, you know, to get it down. But now, we're particular about the fits. You may sound like we get a little sloppy here, but we ain't all. No. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Next time we'll put these in the in the groove. Okay. Thank you for joining us here in the wilds of Alaska. I hope you enjoy the East Tennessee special. We've really enjoyed bringing it to you.